See, in an abstract, what I have told you how to create an abstract. First of all, we have to put the title, then abstract heading, then abstract be there. After that, keywords and then reference, right? This is what I have asked you to write. This is the format of a abstract, right? Have you seen that? Yeah. Now, while writing the research paper on this abstract, which we have sent to the committee uh, to write upon, I think you all uh, must have get a notification about the uh, upcoming conference and seminar in the university. Okay, that is on the 3rd yes, of November, yes, I think. Okay, you get it now. You, you must get the mail. You have to check. Uh, if, yeah, everything have received a mail about the conference on 3rd of August, uh, 3rd of November. And that is about the agriculture or something uh, in the field. So, those who belong to sciences or this uh, particular area, they can present their paper and uh, can attend the seminar. So here, what you have to do, but you, but you guys are doing uh, abhi coursework, so it's not mandatory for you. It is for the uh, scholars who are already in research. Okay. Now, when okay. you are creating your uh, introduction, when you are creating your research paper, now your research abstract is being approved by the committee. They have given you a notification or an email that your research abstract is being accepted, and now. We are requested. We are requesting you to send your whole paper within the guidelines and the particular time slot. Take care. They used to give you both. These are the guidelines and these are the uh, time slot. That this is the deadline for submitting a paper. You have to write. Up now, you get approximately one month to write your paper. What you have to do? You have the outline because abstract is with you, key points are with you, you have prepared the key points for your uh, writing your abstract. So those all key points are with you, right? Now you have to start writing your introduction of the research paper on the basis of abstract and your title. In the introduction, you introduction is basically an initial part of a research and the part that reader is likely to read first. Hence, definition, notions, other information required understanding of the paper are presented and listed here. That should be here. Okay, every kind of definition or something like whatever is your topic, the definition, the uh, elaboration or defining your topic should be there. You have to define your topic like what your topic is all about, what is the definition of the particular terms if you have used there. So, you have to give the idea to the readers. Other than that, you have to give the information about your uh, particular idea which you are taking in this paper for argument. So, first thing what you have to take here in the introduction is uh, explanation of topic. Okay, first is explanation of Topic. What is your topic is all about. Second, uh, second thing which you have to take along with the explanation of the topic, then information about information about the idea which you are going to elaborate or which you are taking uh, for the argument in this paper. Okay, what is your understanding about your topic? So first is explanation of the topic and information about the idea. Or you can say along with this uh, introduction of the topic or explanation of the topic and there you can write understanding of the topic also. Ki what is your understanding of the particular topic? So you, you have to give the definitions of the term, you have to elaborate your topic or your title first. Then every research paper needs two contexts so that reader can understand why uh, you have created it. This is exactly what you can do in your research paper introduction. Of course, uh, this can mean that your introduction is the hardest part of your essay to write first. So, it is essential that you take your time and make sure you will get it right. The introduction of writing is going to set out your rational, which is what research will be based around. Your reader should be able to tell what they are reading right from the beginning and whether it interests them. Okay, it is essential that you make the beginning of your research paper interesting and engage uh, with your readers from the first line. 
this will make sure that people continue to read and learn about what you have found, found out. Uh, you should also state a hypothesis that uh, and the way you think your work will turn out in conclusion. Now, what uh, you have to put into, into the introduction after the elaboration and understanding of the topic. The third point you have to give here that is research statement which you have mentioned in your abstract. Your research question was there. I told you to give a research question in the abstract, right? So that question is being elaborated, should be elaborated in your uh, research uh, statement that should be elaborated in your research and that is called, that is called as your research statement. Now you have to elaborate your research question again in the part of introduction that what was your research question, what was your hypothesis, what exactly the idea on which you are going to work or going to explain further in this paper. Understand? Understood? Yes ma'am. Okay. Now writing an introduction to a research paper because this is the face of a paper so this is very important part of a research paper that you have created a interesting introduction. Now what is to include here, what are the part of a research? First of all, you have to start with announcing your topic. You have to give an elaboration and understanding of the topic, the whole idea, the complete aspect of the topic or the title should be given there. There should be no secret when you are starting with the paper. You don't have to create uh, secrets, you don't have to create terminologies, uh, suspense kind of thing in an introduction, but you have to go straight forward as you are explaining your topic and title to the readers that this is my wholesome idea or the whole topic is all about. Now if you want to work with or you want to listen it, then you have to understand the topic in the similar way. So this is how you are giving a choice to the readers that this is all my topic is about and this is you have to listen now. Now next is review of literature. In the introductory part itself you have to mention the review of literature that how many researchers or how many people you have surveyed <coughs> while writing this research. So that they will get an idea that you are not just uh, speaking baselessly but there are many other people who have already researched on the same thing and you have a wholesome idea about it. It's not just a vague thing that you are doing but you have to uh, prove your authenticity of the research by telling them about the review of literature. I already told you in the very beginning that review of literature is very important because when you mention it, when you give all the citations and references that give an authenticity to your research, right? Even it is a research paper, you have to talk about your review of literature. Understood? Now, next is stress on rational. Now, you have to talk about the key elements of your paper. The, the keywords which you have talked about in the abstract part, you have to uh, elaborate that key points. You have to talk about the important aspect of your paper in the introduction. Okay, that should be of one page at least three, four passages should be there in introduction. In first passage, you must be talking about the to uh, title and topic and uh, the uh, wholesome uh, idea of your research paper should be discussed then the review of literature should be discussed then your uh, hypothesis sorry your uh, important aspect should be discussed then in the next paragraph your thesis state your thesis means research statement yeah this is your research statement Whatever question you have raised in your abstract, whatever question you have put in the mind of the committee or the readers in the uh, abstract, you have to talk about that research statement in your uh, introductory part. You have to give the research statement and even talk about the hypothesis about your research topic. That what are the, <coughs> what are the hypothesis about your research topic? that this is the hypothesis, this is the research statement and you are talking about it uh, here. 
Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma fine. So this is what you have to do in your research statement, and uh, now this is the finest research introduction you can write, including all these four points. Now, in the research statement, what you have to do? Give a general information of the topic, engaging and precise. These are the qualities of introduction, basically. In your research thesis, or uh, you should write a research paper should include. What that is, it should be interesting, it should be engaging, it should uh, have a clarity about the topic and reflect the significance of the raised issue that is research statement. Now, uh, conclude with the outline. Conclude with the outline is the introduction. You have to sum up in a way that it should not be look like an open ending. It should have a close ending that yes, you are now ending up your introduction and you want to elaborate your paper so after the uh, topic uh, introduction whatever title when you will write here like this this one your introduction title will be there so after that introduction title you when you are giving an ending it should look like yes this part is going to close now this part is ending you can end with an example you can end with a quote you can end with anything right so, uh, it's like you are giving a conclusion to the introduction. Now, your main body is coming. Then in the main body, you have to start it again with a subheading or a heading. Uh, you can say another heading should be there that if you are talking about something like what we have talked in uh, abstract, presence of God or something, right? I have taken such kind of any topic in the abstract. So, in the introduction, the introduction will be the heading and you are talking about your whole argument. Then in the, uh, when you are taking the body, after the quote you have ended your introduction. Now, if I am coming to your main body of the uh, structure uh, research paper, then your heading will be that yes, God is a myth. Like for example, you have taken this as a heading. God is a myth. Now, you have written a, a paragraph about it that what exactly you want to say that you are this is a statement or this is a question so you haven't put any kind of uh, <clears throat> mark here okay there is no uh, punctuation mark is here so you are not putting a question mark you are putting a exclamation mark or you are not putting in any kind of mark you have just written it so, you have to state it here ki whether God is a myth or something you have stated that you know, a small paragraph should be there and then your subheading according to Bible, according to uh, Hinduism, according to Jewish, according to Islam, according to uh, like Buddhism, according to Jainism. So, you can uh, put your argument in such way or it's like ki according to uh, um, uh, religions, different religions. Uh, the identity of God according to the oral narration the identity of God it matches or mismatches that can be the subheading so <coughs> it is up to your topic that how many headings or subheadings you want to create in the main body now now if I talk about the structure then in the structure uh, your uh, abstract and information will take one page like if I talk to you about the body because here in this paper now onwards there is no any such kind of uh, thing is being given so I am just uh, skipping all these things this is the repetitive thing you have to write a research paper a research paper's length will be what was the length which I talk, told to you 5 to 6 pages right and that is 3500 words okay now abstract will be of maximum 400 words so here you have 3000 approximately words and some papers are 4000 so you have 3500 words to write your research paper. now how to compose it in the first paper you are writing your uh, in uh, this is your first paper like for example then you have put your title then abstract the abstract is being composed here properly uh, sorry this will not work yes if you are writing an abstract like an a4 sheet then uh, you have to compose it in a way like the, your title is there 
then uh, the name of the research scholar the supervisor the research scholar will be written as a designation of your then here the research supervisor then uh, university or institution and its address and your contact number that is the information then the title abstract will come and your complete abstract will be written here in several lines or like a paragraph it will be written and then keywords and this is your abstract so you have to send it like that then on the next paper when you are writing an introduction the complete page will be taken for your introduction again your title will be here then introduction will be written and your complete introduction can be there in the three to four passages it can be okay and you have to compose all the four points what are the points you have to write in the part of introduction first explanation of topic second point batao kya tha explanation of topic ke baad review of literature se pehle kya tha dekho dobara dekho research review se pehle kya tha announcing your topic then uh, sorry major part what i have told you understanding of the topic and research statement yes to yahan pe second point kya aa jayega aapka understanding of the topic understanding of the topic third is your review of literature and fourth is research list and fifth it can be like a proper end proper ending ye hua aapka introduction ka part then in the main body main body jo hogi aap that should go for 3 to 4 pages isme aap kya karenge isme all the main arguments you have to talk about all the main arguments their justification quote your um review of literature or research review whatever literature you have explored you have to take the quotations from there that the particular person or scientist or a scholar has given such and such quotation or such and such argument or idea about this but my opinion in in this way if you are opposing it or are you are <coughs> against it or having a different argument or if you are uh, going with the same then you said i agree with the uh, uh okay the opinion of the so and so scholar who quotes so you have to give the quotations of something for your authenticity and then uh quotes you have to mention uh, agreement their justification you have to give then your uh, you have to talk about uh justification of justification of research statement whatever statement you have raised here in this part you have to justify it that how justify your research statement is isme keval char hi point aayenge aur ye char aapko dhang se elaborate kar with the help of the text you are taking so that should be taken in a very conscious way now your next part will be conclusion theek hai what will be the fourth part first is abstract second is introduction third is main body fourth is conclusion theek hai that should be of maximum two paragraph maximum two paragraph aur iske andar aapko kya discuss karna hai you have to uh, discuss only the findings results proper end and to the paper aapka research thesis ya research paper ko ek proper end dene ke kaam aata hai conclusion then iska aapka fifth part aayega reference jo bhi unhone style boli ho wo references kitne honge research एब्सट्रैक्ट में कितने थे फाइव टू सिक्स यहाँ पे कितने होंगे ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी गॉट इट एनी कंफ्यूजन यहाँ पे अब आप पूछ सकते हो मुझसे अगर कुछ भी पूछना है तो <coughs> कुछ पूछना है इसमें मेन बॉडी में कुछ पूछना हो कि आपका एक्सप्लेनेटरी पार्ट किस तरीके से होगा या उसमें किस तरीके से चीजें लिखी जा सके इंट्रोडक्शन में कुछ और पूछना हो एब्सट्रैक्ट uh, में कुछ पूछना है कॉन्क्लूजन में कुछ पूछना है बताओ इसमें केवल आपको फाइंडिंग रिजल्ट ढंग से डिस्कस करने हैं कि दीज आर द फाइंडिंग एंड दिस इज द कंक्लूजन ऑफ माई uh research and uh, you have to give a proper ending that should be always in a positive way whether you are writing an idea which is against the general norm but your ending should be positive it should not create any kind of argument or negativity there in the community or in the society in any purpose any uh, way <coughs> understood किसी को भी कुछ नहीं पूछना सबको सारा समझ में आया है इसमें से 
यस किसी को कुछ पूछना है रिसर्च पेपर लिखना आ गया क्या होता है रिसर्च पेपर में हाँ आया रिसर्च पेपर लिखना ओके नाउ इसे आपको एक बार प्रैक्टिस करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि अगर एक बार रिसर्च पेपर लिखना आ जाएगा इट विल बी वेरी इजियर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टू क्रिएट साइन ऑफ दिस इज द मॉडल ऑफ योर साइन ऑफ काइंड ऑफ ठीक है डू ट्राई टू टेक सम टॉपिक एंड यस यू हैव टू टेक सम टॉपिक यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ रिसर्च ओके and uh, second thing uh, it's okay uh, that uh, i don't know whether how much you are working for your things or not but very soon you are going to get your assignment questions and assignments also so like i have given you the assignment of ppt but many of you haven't bothered about it haven't prepared it but when it will come officially to you you have to submit all the things because uh, on that basis your marks examination will be an objective but your subjective marks will be given only on the basis of your assignment okay so please prepare properly and if you have any kind of confusion in any uh, part of your research uh, uh, like topic whatever i am taking you can raise a question uh, just feel free to do that okay and i'm just uploading this document on your classroom you can find it fine